From the mid-2000s through the 2010s, Aston Martin was unmatched when it came to crafting cool cars. They were stunning to look at, thrilling to hear, and a joy to drive. However, the company eventually hit a slump. The lineup became stagnant, and when new models like the DB11 and the second-generation Vantage were finally introduced, they didn't quite measure up to the icons that came before. Now though, it seems Aston Martin is back on track, and the new Vantage is clear evidence of that. While the previous Vantage was loved largely for its iconic wing badge, the new version brings far more than just its emblem. Yes, it still carries the famous badge, but it's also packed with substance. Though it shares the same twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter Mercedes MG V8 as its predecessor, almost every part of the car has been significantly reworked, leading to a transformation. Historically, the Vantage has competed with lower-end Porsche 911s, but this time Aston is setting its sights higher, specifically aiming at the 911 Turbo. With a base price of $194,500, the Vantage slightly undercuts the regular Turbo, while its 656 horsepower surpasses the 911 Turbo S's 640 and dwarfs the previous Vantage's 503. Still, the Vantage offers a very different driving experience compared to the 911 Turbo. Where the 911 Turbo is known for its understated demeanor and its ability to conquer any road, especially in bad weather, the new Vantage takes on a more aggressive persona. It's a brawler, powerful, front-engined, rear-wheel driven, and packed with enough punch to make it a true heavyweight. Yet it doesn't lack finesse. The Vantage boasts exceptional chassis balance and genuinely responsive steering. Aston Martin has also addressed one of its past weaknesses, brake pedal feel. The previous generation struggled with feedback, but the new Vantage's carbon ceramic rotors offer a reassuring sense of control, inspiring driver confidence when braking hard. The damping is generally effective, though this is undeniably a firm ride, and I often found myself wishing for better control over vertical body movements. On large bumps, you might even get lifted out of your seat. That said, the last 911 Turbo I drove with its optional sport suspension was quite firm as well. With Advantage, you'll want to keep the adaptive dampers in their softest setting, Sport, unless you're on an exceptionally smooth road. Then you can switch to Sport Plus or even Track Mode. This car is fast, seriously fast. With 656 horsepower, you'd expect serious performance. But the Vantage feels even quicker than the numbers suggest. Aston Martin has developed its own version of the AMG V8. And it's fantastic, delivering immense power throughout the rev range. It even sounds surprisingly melodic, a nice contrast to the deeper, rumbling tone of the same engine in AMG models. The 8-speed automatic transaxle might not have the sharpness of a dual-clutch gearbox, but it's hard to fault. It's smooth at low speeds and quick and responsive when you push it. That said, a manual transmission would be a welcome addition, and we know Aston Martin is capable of offering one. The Vantage drives just as boldly as it looks. There's a sense of exuberance and occasion, and even a touch of humor in its character. The interior complements the driving experience well. Aston Martin has developed its own infotainment system and designed a center console that bucks the trend of relying solely on screens, opting instead for physical buttons. It all functions smoothly and for the most part feels high quality. However, some elements like the haptic steering wheel controls and light switches borrowed from Mercedes-Benz feel a bit cheap, though they're not deal breakers. While the interior might not reach the luxury of a Bentley, it certainly feels more special than a Porsche 911's cap. Most importantly, it's no longer a reason to hesitate when considering the car. We have to talk about the looks too. Despite sharing hard points with the old Vantage, all of that car's awkwardness is gone, and in its place is one of the most beautiful cars on sale today. It's a car I couldn't stop looking at, and neither could the rest of the world. The Vantage turned heads everywhere, and the attention was overwhelmingly positive. It's a good-looking car, but not an ostentatious one. Pretty much exactly what an Aston Martin should be. While the new Vantage undercuts the base price of the current 911 Turbo, option pricing for this car is crazy. Carbon ceramic brakes are $14,000, the Bowers & Wilkins sound system is $10,000, and all the carbon fiber exterior trim added up to $18,000. The list goes on and on. 
And with this tester, the $194,500 base price ballooned all the way up to $292,500. Sheesh. Our advice? Go easy on the options list. Still, this is a car that grows on you. I'll stop short of saying it's a 911 turbo killer since its personality is so different. Yet it's this very personality that makes it appealing. A 911 turbo simply isn't this much fun. If we handed out awards for the most improved cars, surely the new Vantage would be a shoe in It nullifies the disappointment of the last car and helps restore Aston Martin to a place of true desirability. The 2025 Aston Martin Vantage is a striking blend of performance, power, and refinement, showcasing Aston Martin's return to form. Powered by a twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V8 sourced from Mercedes-AMG, the Vantage produces an exhilarating 656 horsepower, making it one of the most potent cars in its class. This engine has been finely tuned by Aston Martin to deliver a unique driving experience, with massive power available throughout the rev range. It's not just fast, it feels faster than its already impressive stats suggest. The Vantage rockets from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just about 3.4 seconds, while its top speed exceeds 200 miles per hour, solidifying its position among high-performance sports cars. The engine delivers a thunderous growl, but it's more melodic than the raw, deep tones typically associated with AMG engines, giving it a distinct character that matches its elegant yet aggressive looks. Paired with an 8-speed automatic transaxle, the Vantage provides smooth and quick shifts, though some purists may yearn for a manual transmission, something Aston Martin has offered in the past. While the automatic lacks the rapid-fire crispness of a dual-clutch system, it's responsive and delivers consistent performance, whether you're cruising or pushing the car to its limits. The 2025 Vantage isn't just about raw power, it has the chassis and handling to back it up. The adaptive dampers, which can be adjusted between Sport, Sport Plus, and Track modes, allow the car to balance comfort with razor-sharp handling. The rear-wheel drive layout provides a thrilling, old-school driving feel, while modern tech ensures grip and precision. The Vantage has great chassis balance, responsive steering, and significantly improved braking with carbon ceramic rotors, giving drivers the confidence to fully exploit its power. In short, the 2025 Aston Martin Vantage is a well-rounded sports car, delivering thrilling performance, immense power, and a dynamic driving experience that makes every journey exciting. The 2025 Aston Martin Vantage strikes a careful balance between high performance and everyday driving comfort. While it's undeniably a firm car, particularly in its sportier modes, the adaptive suspension allows drivers to dial in a more comfortable ride when needed. In its softest setting, 